Montgomery County Public School students got together with students from our neighboring county for a little friendly competition. MCPS TV has the story from Silver Spring. 45 minutes begin now. More than 130 students from Montgomery and Prince George's counties had a chance to show their skills at Thomas Edison High School of Technology last week. They were part of the Regional Skills USA competition in which students engaged in technical skilled service education programs race against the clock in over 24 different events. Being a part of skills, you know, I didn't know it could change my life. I became a part of it through the restaurant management program and people don't know that it's you show that your passion for what you what you love doing. Skills competition is a competition that gives the students a chance to practice what they've learned against other students in a real life situation. We're competing in cosmetology, um, aesthetics, which is basically makeup and design. We do carpentry, masonry, where they'll build a wall. Carpentry, they build a structure based on a blueprint. We do culinary arts, where they prepare a meal. We have sheet metal, um, automotive services, we have computer maintenance. We do all kinds of things that give the students a chance to excel in what they've learned. More than 60 judges who are experts in their fields scored students on their skills, techniques, problem solving abilities, as well as presentation and overall aesthetics. Uh, so I'm here to judge uh, today on the uh, students' food safety first, their knife skills, their basic idea of how they're preparing food in their kitchen, uh, looking obviously at flavor and taste and the finishes, looking at the sauces, but just making sure that they in general operate their kitchen well. Skills USA is great because to me it's almost like the Super Bowl for high school students that are doing these trays and these different techniques. I think it's wonderful because it really allows them to showcase their skills. These are young people who are going to be employable the minute they leave school. During an awards ceremony, first, second, and third place winners were announced. These students will compete at the state level on April 4th and 5th with hopes of making it to the national competition in June.